Do you struggle with invoicing your clients? Many small business owners do. You're not alone. Don't feel bad. I'm here. I'm Tina Pomgren with Excelling Your Business, and I'm here to help you make invoicing fun and easy. Yes, it can be fun and easy. Let's get to it. I'm going to show you how I do it. So this is a system I made five years ago for myself, and I still use it to this day because it's easy for me to do. So I've got a bunch of different things. This is my invoice layout. It's my template. There's instructions when you come in that you can just follow right through how to do them all. I have t uh, tables for types, of your service types, and the, your rates. And then I have all your clients here. Um, I'm going to come back over here, and then I've got an invoice log. And we're going to look at, first of all, doing an invoice for... I'm going to do DuraClean Specialist, so I'm going to do 7. Um, and when I put in the client number 7 here, it's going to automatically fill in the build to over here. So you can watch that populate when I hit enter, and there it is. So I'm going to come back over here, I'm going to put in the date, at 6 slash 22. I only need to put in that and hit tab, and you'll see Excel fill in the year for you. I know my invoice number, I believe, was 1,099, so my next invoice number is 2,000. All right, down here, the terms I have upon receipt, but if you needed that to be 30 days or 7 days or 15 days, we can customize that to make that happen. This is all customizable. That's what I love about this. My data service was 5 slash 28. I'm going to put in the type of service. I do a drop down right here and I can pull up what I need. I'm going to do consulting and I'm going to say uh, update spreadsheet pricing. And I only did one hour. So right there, I'm pretty much all set. You can see my total is right down at the bottom. If I had something else, maybe I had travel time if I put in two hours you're gonna see that 120 populates and it automatically calculates everything down here I didn't actually have that so I'm gonna undo those two things and I'm gonna leave it right like that so I'm all set to send this invoice so I'm gonna to come to my invoice log and I'm gonna create a PDF and I'm gonna tell it to put it in the invoices it it says it's an invoice number the number who the vendor is or my client and the date. So I'm all set. I'm going to hit save. Once I do that, it brings me back to my spreadsheet and I'm going to transfer the data. So what you're going to see is that information pop in down here. So there it is. It's already all set. And then I'm going to clear the invoice. Poof, it's done. I'm all set to email the client. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to go to my email. I'm going to do a new email. I'm going to start typing Tammy. And she's right down there, so I can select her. I'm going to say invoice attached. And I actually have a signature that is for my invoices. So it has some information what I wanted to put in there. And then I just type in, hi, Tammy. Come on. And then I come in and attach a file. It's right at the top. I put it in there. So here I'm going to double click on it to show you what it looks like. The reason why you, why you want to do a PDF is that nobody can change the numbers. If they tried to change this number, it wouldn't change the total amount. So there's no way anybody can mess with your information that you already have up. So there it is. It's all set up. So, and I would send that. This one is not an actual invoice, so I'm not going to send that. I'm going to go back here. So if you found this information helpful, I would love it if you would share this video with friends or family or colleagues or other people that you may know that are struggling doing invoicing or Excel. If you want to reach out for your free consultation yourself, you can go to my website at tina at excellingyourbusiness.com. And it is 1L because it's a play off of Microsoft Excel. So I am Tina with Excelling Your Business. Thank you and have a great day.